Hello everyone, welcome back. After a very long time, I hope everyone is doing well. The topic for today is Shamfi's line of osteosynthesis. So this Shamfi's line of osteosynthesis, it is a very important treatment modality in the mandibular fracture. Now the treatment of the fracture, it is the most trickiest question that you will face but now if you know how to write the answer properly it becomes the easiest one so now this chamfis line of osteosynthesis it is one of the treatment modality in your mandibular fracture the definition for the chamfis line of osteosynthesis is so these are the lines along which the plates or the screws they are placed when you're treating the mandibular fracture so as to re-establish the normal stress distribution in the mandible. So I'm going to ease it up for you. So now in the fracture, so there are three basic principles in the treatment of fracture. So the first is the reduction. Now, if there's a fracture which has occurred, so this is like the basic principle for any fracture. So in this case, now you can see there's this body fracture of the mandible. So because of the fracture, what happens is the segments, they move apart from their original position. So in reduction, what you do is you bring back those segment in the proper position. So that is the first principle, that is the reduction. Now the next thing, what you do is you are going to do the fixation. Now that you have got the segments in its proper position, in its original position. So now you need to fix them up because it is the fracture which has occurred. So you need to fix it up. So fixing it can be done with the help of plates or screws. And the third one is immobilization. Now that you have fixed it properly. So we know we have already studied it in our first years that when the fracture is healing. So the positive point will be where it is immobilized properly. If there is mobilization, so the healing, it will be delayed. So the third principle for your any fracture treatment, it is immobilization. That is you're going to keep that area or that part immobilized for that particular time so that it heals properly. So now this Shamfi's line of osteosynthesis, it comes under the second principle that is fixation so basically your shampi's line of osteosynthesis is nothing but the lines along which you're going to place those screws or plate such that you're going to treat the mandibular fracture and why you are doing that is to re-establish the normal stress distribution so you're going to establish the normal function of the mandible with the help of this shampi's line of osteosynthesis so now what is the application of the Shamfi's line of osteosynthesis? Now, as I said, it is applicable in the mandibular fracture. But now in this also, it is applicable when there is the symphysis fracture, parasymphysis fracture, there is body fracture and there is angle fracture. So if there are fractures in this area, so you can apply the Shamfi's line only in this area. But now if there's the fracture which has occurred at the condyle or the coronoid. So in that case, you cannot apply this Shamfi's line of osteosynthesis. Now this Shamfi's line of osteosynthesis, as I said, it comes under the fixation part. So it comes under the fixation of semi-rigid fixation. Semi-rigid, as the name says, it provides some degree of rigidity. So it is like fixing the mandibular fracture with the help of mini plates. So it is the semi-rigid monocortical fixation now what do you mean by monocortical fixation now in the mandible as we know there are two cortical bones that is the outer and the inner cortical bone so when you're doing the fixation with the help of this mini place in this chamfis line of osteosynthesis what happens is you're going to place the screws only in one cortical plate that is the outer cortical plate so as the name says mono is basically when you're going to place this plates on the outer side of your cortical plate and this screw it doesn't go in this inner side of your cortical plate so if the screw it bypasses this inner cortical plate so that means it is a bicortical but over here you have to remember the Shamfi's line of osteosynthesis it is a monocortical fixation that you're going to fix only one cortical plate that is the labial one the outer one so this is the application over it. Now, which are the various types of screws and plates which can be used? So now in this, so these screws, the shampi, when he like used or when he introduced this 
Champagne's line of osteosynthesis. So he basically was using stainless steel ones, but now titanium are also available. So these screws are made up of titanium. And now in this, now you can see over here. So these are the screws and these are the plates. So you're going to place this plates and you're going to fix this plate with the help of the screw. So the measurement for the screw, it can be 7 mm. Like the length of the screw is 7 mm and the width it is 1.5 mm so it should be at least 5 mm whenever you are using these screws in this champis line of osteosynthesis and if the bone if the mandible is thick so you have to go for a longer screw because the bone is thick so this is how it looks so this is the screws these are the plates and the plates they are available in various sizes and shapes so now what is the rationale of doing this champis line of osteosynthesis now we know mandible, it is a V-shaped tubular bone which consists of the dense outer cortical bone and the inner cortical bone. So now we know there's this outer cortical plate and inner cortical plate and between this you have this cancellous bone and the cortical bone as we know it is a dense type of bone but cancellous bone is not a dense type of bone and that's the reason why we are fixing the screws monocortically that is like why we are fixing the screws only in the outer cortical plate because it gives the best anchorage you get the best anchorage when the bone is dense so if the screws goes in this cancellous bone so it won't provide that good anchorage and we don't need in this scenario we don't need to bypass the inner cortical plate and that's the reason we are doing the monocortical fixation now in this now you have to remember one more point in the rationale that the fixation of the screw it is very difficult in the alveolar process because of the presence of the root now because the roots are present so fixing in that area that is the alveolar process area it becomes very difficult so this is the next point that you need to write in your rationale now the third and the most important point that you need to write for the rationale is now whenever the mandible is in function whenever there is the occlusal load applied on the mandible that is whenever there is the masticatory forces applied so there are three types of forces which act on the mandible so those are the tensional forces compressional forces and one more force is known as the torsional forces which is applied in only in the anterior region so now you have to remember there are three forces whenever the mandible is in function so those forces are known as tensional force compressional force and if it is in the symphysis of the parasymphysis that is in the anterior region so at that time there's also this torsional force which is applied so torsional is nothing but it is the twisting force so it will twist the mandible now what does this tensional force does so tensional force whenever so this tensional force it is applied or it is seen in the upper border of the mandible and the compressional force is seen in the lower of border of the mandible so the tensional force what it will do is it will move these segments apart and the compressional force it will bring the segments together so in this case compressional force is doing the work that we want to do that is bringing the segments together so because of that the compressional force it like has no risk on the fracture but now in this whenever you're doing the treatment for the mandibular fracture so in that case you have to address this tensional force because what it is doing is it is moving the segments apart and you have to address the tensional force which is applied in the anterior region why because it is going to twist your mandible so because of that the rationale it falls as you have to do the fixation in this area that is the tensional force area and the torsional force area so because of that now we are going to see the ideal lines so you will see that whenever you are doing the fixation so you are going to fix the plates over here in this region only why because you you want to encounter this or you want to address this tensional forces because the compression force is of no harm to the mandibular fracture so you are not going to place the plates in the lower border of the mandible because of the compression force which is already present in that area so this becomes the rationale of the Champis line of osteosynthesis. So now which all are the ideal lines of the osteosynthesis? So the first will be now if there's a fracture which has occurred at the angular region. 
or there is the fracture of the angle of the mandible so shamfi he said that you can place one plate so it is a one plate fixation so now you can place this one plate either at the external oblique ridge so over here you can place it at the external oblique ridge or you can place it at the lateral surface of your mandible so now why we are placing it over here at the upper region now as earlier we have seen there are this compressional forces which are present which are going to bring back your mandible in its position so because of that we are not going to place the plates in the lower border because there's already the compressional force which is present so because of that we are going to place the plates over here why because there are this tensional forces which are present so you are going to place whenever there is the angle fracture you are going to place the plate either at the external oblique ridge or at the lateral surface of the mandible so this is the first ideal line whenever there is the fracture of angular region that it is whenever there is the fracture of angle now the second ideal line is whenever there is the fracture of the body region so body region is basically whenever it is behind the mental foramen so whenever it is behind the mental foramen it is considered as the body region of the mandible so again over here there is one plate fixation so basically now i am going to make it easier for you so now we have seen there are three forces that is tensional compressional and the torsional now torsional forces it is present only in the anterior region that is ahead of your mental foramen so because of that now we are not going to see about this torsional in the case of angle or the body so there are this two forces which are present whenever the mandible is in function so now the compression force is not to worry about because it is already doing the work of bringing back the mandible in its position so over here the force that we are going to pay much attention is on the tensional force so because of that in the angle region now as i said you are going to place the plates in the external oblique ridge or the lateral surface and in the body fracture what you going to do is you are going to fix the plate below the roots so over here now you can see so these are your roots of the teeth so you are going to place the like plate just below the roots of your teeth so this is again one plate fixation and you are going to place it below the root but it should be above your inferior alveolar nerve so this is the point that you need to remember for the body fracture that you are going to place the plates below the roots that is sub apically and it should be above your alveolar nerve so this is the second ideal line of osteosynthesis now the third line of osteosynthesis is when there is the fracture of the anterior region now as i said anterior region you have torsional force also so with the tensional force you now you need to treat the torsional force also so because of that what you're going to do is you're going to place two plates in such case where you are going to treat both the forces so compression is not to worry about so you have to worry about torsional force and the tensional force so this is the reason why you're going to place two plates in the anterior region now this is a very commonly asked question in mcqs or in vivas that why are you going to place two plates in the anterior region and why are you placing only one plate in the angular or the body region so the reason is the anterior region it has this torsional force in extra so to like treat that torsional force also because torsional force what does it do is it will rotate your mandible so you're going to like fix this force also with the help of two plate fixation so now this like fracture it will be ahead of your mental foramen that is the symphysis fracture or the parasymphysis fracture parasymphysis is nothing but from canine to canine so over here so behind the canine if there is a fracture like just ahead of your premolar if there is a fracture it is considered as the parasymphysis fracture and between your central incisor is your symphysis fracture so in this region you are going to place two plates so one plate again it will be subapically so here now you can see so these are the roots of the anterior teeth so just below your roots you are going to place one plate and at the distance of 4 to 5 mm from this first plate you are going to place the second plate so that is the two plate fixation of the 
anterior region in the Chamfis line of osteosynthesis. So Chamfis line of osteosynthesis, it is nothing but like it was modified by Chamfi et al. So Chamfi et al was the name of the person who proposed this line of osteosynthesis and hence it is known as Chamfis line of osteosynthesis. So Chamfi et al, he modified the technique which was proposed by Michelet. Now what was the technique which was proposed by Michelet? So basically Michelet, he used the compression plates instead of the non-compression plates. So Shamfi, what he did was he used this non-compression plates. So the Shamfi and his co-worker, they were arguing over this compression plate fixation. Why? Because now we have already seen that there is the compressional force which is present in the lower part of the mandible. So why do we need this compression plate? So because of that, what Shamfi did was he used this non-compression plates to like describe the most scientific basis for the mini plate application in the treatment of the mandibular fracture and because of that it is known as the ideal line of osteosynthesis basically where the mini plate fixation should be done to get the best result or you can say where the fixation is the most stable so this is nothing but all about the Chamfis line of osteosynthesis. So what you all need to write is first you need to write about the definition then you need to write about the application where all it is applicable. It is not applicable in the condylar and the coronoid. Then you have to write about the rational name then somewhat about the mini plates like the length of the screws and over here one more point to be remember is so these screws so they are the self tapering ones. So they are the self tapping sorry self tapping ones so self tapping is basically you don't need to drill a hole so this screw what it does is whenever you're placing it it will create the hole on its itself because over here so you can see the end of the screw it is very narrow so because of that the hole is not to be drilled before placing the screws the screws itself are doing that work and hence it is known as self tapping so the screws that you're using is self tapping type of screws so this is the next thing that you can write in the mini plates that you're using the self tapping type of screws and it is a non compression fixation then the length you can write then about the width it is 1.5 mm then the plates they are available in various size and shapes the next thing that you need to write is about the rationally like rationally is already discussed and the next important thing is about the ideal line. So there are this three ideal lines that are the angle, body and the anterior region. So this is all you need to write if you get a question on the Chamfis line of osteosynthesis. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, then please like, comment, share and do subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.